let's identify a certain consumer need that is not being met or can i identify something which even people don't know that they need i can give you two examples which you might be wondering like how did they even occur like uh henry ford the founder of ford cars one of my favorite quotes of all time when it comes to innovation of henry ford is that if you ask i mean this is back before the car was invented the first ford car if you ask a person how do you want to move faster they would only say faster horses he would not say i want a car so according to ford it was like you cannot expect a direct answer and put it back into implementation you understand what the need is and then you realize okay i need to put in a car likewise when the smartphone was invented steve jobs also said something very similar like uh, people wanted innovation and connectivity yeah. i mean they realized they want to connect easier than the webcam connectivity of the 2005s and your lands you just wanted to connect on the go nobody said i want a phone kit to do this like even though we had phones nobody said i want a phone to do this but then the technology came about so you see now it's a disruption on a different level where they just wanted to meet a larger consumer pain point or something that they did not know how to resolve so once you realize that sometimes it can even lead to product innovation like these two examples are just pure product innovation than product evolution what products and brands are especially in the d2c space are trying right now yeah oh my god d2c space um i i i talk to so many prospects on a weekly basis and all mm. of them you know like no offense to anyone but i think the founders really need to work on figuring out what are they looking for what are yeah. they wanting to cater to uh, mm. so i i was i'm recent so i'm working with a d2c brand right now it's a, mm. it's a small home grown business and they are okay. they are one of its kind in india so there is no That's direct right. competitor for them okay. so apart from the product i told them start working on you know building community because mm, yeah. the era going ahead is of community building yeah you know and talk pick up your phone and talk to three to four customers every day since you are yeah. in your initial phases so i gave him a lot of you know post funnel techniques uh, post purchase funnel techniques so that he can work on it and make sure that you know he's somehow managing to differentiate himself from big brands like mm. uh i would say is indirect competitors to be fun school and okay. monopoly and you know so you get the category right but and he's actually starting to do it now and from having zero retention to now having a retention of 10% and mm, just span great. of two months of execution i feel that's a decent percent of retention just yeah. in a span of two months mm-hmm. so, with the help of just community building and a mm. good customer service etc so their yeah. packaging is very simple their message mm. again i've kept it like you know super simple mm. so he was confused adults mm. chahiye ya fir kids chahiye mm. with that yeah now it's like mm. let's go with adults why mm. because adults market is untapped yeah right and when the market is untapped you just have a lot of opportunities to play around so i just um, you know went on to telling him this thing then it's been so far touch wood working out really good so Great. i i am just adding on to your point here and probably telling that you know we could apart from stating of the product benefits you could perhaps mm. also work on you know customer service like having yeah. a very good customer service so true, like true 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 uh, if i have to ask you to choose between amazon and flipkart mm. which one are you likely to choose i definitely go for amazon or That's, the customer service i win yeah. yeah exactly right so they both are marketplaces giant marketplaces mm. offering great discounts but it's the customer service at the end of it that is making you choose amazon yeah right That's and true. so i i feel there are these parameters like customer service how you speak to your customers on yeah. social media through various touch points and mm. you know um, all of those things matters a lot 